Welcome back. This is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos and it's Sunday. It's vlog day. Welcome back. So happy to see every single one of you. I am actually going to have Jeff come out and join me today. He's going to, one of my turners broke down and I thought this was a great opportunity to kind of show you guys how we fix our turn or how he fixes the motors in the back. If you guys remember, we did a tutorial on how to make a turner. So, you know, kind of show you guys how our maintenance on, on how we fix stuff. So make sure you guys stick around to the end. I'm going to make Jeff kind of, well, I'm, you know, he doesn't know yet, but I, I'm sure I won't have to make him anyways, <laughs> but I'm going to have him uh, do my outro with me today. I don't know about you guys, but I totally forgot that there was a time change last night. And so I've pretty much been up since four o'clock this morning, I guess. So, <laughs> but it's all good. I was able to get a lot of stuff done. So See what I mean? And that's why I need all my motors working. So I'm going to go ahead and go in and get him. Hopefully the kids will be okay for a minute. You know, <laughs> not make too much of a mess while we're out here. So I'm ready to wake up, prep these tumblers, and slay all day. Let's do this. So I'm going to have Jeff help me um, or kind of show you guys how we like to fix our motors when they go out because... Yep. It's important to have them, and I, I kind of need all my motors right now, so. <laughs> so we have a, a 10 turner here. Well, it's a, it's a six turner and a four turner that I built. You know, I did the tutorial. I know a lot of you guys have done it. Um, yeah. Those motors are cheap, and over time, they get loud, and then they just quit working. And we've got one here. You can see Sandy put her little plunger in there to remind Yeah. Me herself that that one's bad but when you turn on you can hear it and it is going but it's like when you put something on there like i'm barely holding it and it's not yeah, moving it at all go. so i think the little gears in the motor have just worn out yeah and that's why that one's so loud and it does move when there's nothing on it but um once you put something on there anything of any type of weight it just stops so we're going to replace that one today, and I'm going to show you guys how. Yep. <laughs> so I'm going to get all this stuff moved off. I'm going to unplug mm -hmm. this, because that's very yes, important. very you know? important. <laughs> you want to make it. sure <laughs> your wires aren't live. Even though the switch is off, yeah. you know, you, I still unplug it. Yeah. Just, you want to be 100%. Yes. Because uh, half of that motor is live. Mm -hmm. The other half goes through the switch. So okay. I'm going to get this all cleaned up, unplug this, get it flipped around, and then we'll take a look at how we replace the motor. Yep. Okay, we got our turner all turned around. We know which motor we got to work on. We've got a new motor, um, same as the old one. And then I just need my wire strippers, a uh, Phillips head or whatever screw you use to put those in. And then I uh, have a, a hex head screw that attaches our adapter onto the motor. So got my hex screwdriver as well. So, yeah. All right, so we'll start with uh, taking out our two screws that hold the motor on. Um, usually I use a, a drill when I'm putting these things together, but since I'm just doing one motor, I'll use a regular screwdriver. And I just used uh, drywall screws. I don't know what you guys used on yours, but that seems to work pretty good. Um, they got a nice coarse thread on them. So, uh, And then what I've got is an adapter in here that is uh, screwed in with a hex head screw. And I'll use my little hex screwdriver to undo that, if I can get in there. I'm gonna get started with the screwdriver and since it's so tight now, I'll just do the rest of it with my finger. Got our motor off and we'll just kind of leave that hanging there. These are the, um, now I know in the tutorial, I didn't use these. I uh, this was something that came after the fact. Uh, I got a 3D printer and I designed a little piece that would fit inside the PVC and then also fit over that motor shaft. Um, not necessary, but it works a little better than the cut in half nail. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> next thing we'll do, we're going to take our, uh, our uh, switch side, which is the white side here, and it really doesn't matter which wire you use. You know, um, it'll just make the motor turn the other way, but these motors will switch directions anyway. How do you anyways. know that's the switch wire? 
So the, the white wire comes from the switch. The black wire is the constant hot that comes oh. from the other side oh, of the okay. plug. Yeah. So, so the, that's what, this is what turns it on? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So this side of the, the motor is always hot. It's coming, see they're all wired together. All three of these yeah. are on the same black wire. That comes from one side of the plug. The other side of the plug goes up through the switch and then you get a white wire for each. Does it, but you said it doesn't matter which one of these go to what? No. Okay, so nope. yeah, you, this you can can't, go to either one. You can't hook these up backwards. Okay. They, they, uh, they work either way. It'll just, it just reverses the direction of the motor, but they, okay. you know, they reverse anyway. Yeah, they can they go either get way. Stuck, so. Yeah. Uh, so now we're going to undo our hot side. I've just got them all kind of twisted together there. So we've got that motor off. And then what I'm going to do is I, they come with really long leads. I'm just going to trim it with my um, wire cutters, strip it off. That way we don't have a bunch of extra wire back here. Yeah. So we've got our uh, our old one that we're replacing, and then this is the new one. Look at how long those wires are. You don't want all that <laughs> extra stuff back there. So I'll just kind of run them back to back, figure out the length, cut it off. Now he's got all these fancy tools. So. <laughs> So, I mean, yeah, this just makes it easier. Totally not required. I mean, you could use a pair of scissors to cut through yeah. this stuff, you know. But uh, this just makes it go a little smoother. Strip off a little bit of the wire or the sheathing on each side. And then we can come back over here. this all twisted up again with those other hot wires again it doesn't matter which side you use as long as so it doesn't so either one but one has to be connected yeah, to there's where not the... like a positive and negative on these they they work either way one goes to the hot which will be plugged in to turn <clears throat> on the you know elect, give it electricity and the other one is to go to the switch to turn it on and off whenever you want it to yep so that switch just kind of completes the circuit. Okay. Yeah. So. But we're just showing you guys how to fix it, you know. Yeah. Which can be a little difficult sometimes, especially if you're not used to working with electrical stuff. But luckily I have Jeff here. But if you have, <laughs> you know, somebody that could help you guys fix yours, obviously do that if you feel more comfortable that way. Yeah. I'm, I'm totally not a professional <laughs> electrician i've just no. over the years yeah. you know with dealing with uh, all kinds of electronics and you're just, you're pretty uh, easy, so remodeling yeah. houses and stuff like that i've picked it up and you know i mean you've I done feel, everything you've done a I lot feel of stuff so. comfortable enough doing it myself so. yeah but yeah like sandy said if you're not comfortable with it Please seek out the, the <laughs> help of somebody who knows what's what are doing. These things? What they're doing. These are uh they call those wire nuts. There's like a little um there's like a little nut inside uh, of it. A little screw inside of it to yeah. keep it. So and when together. you twist it 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 holds the wires together. See those aren't that's not gonna come out of there. Right, it's not gonna come this apart. is very common in, in uh home wiring. Yeah. You know. So But that just protects it and some of these even has electrical wire on, but really all you really need are the the nuts. But yep. how how often do you suggest that people should um, yeah I check mean, your motor check their motors to make sure everything's running smoothly? Because I mean we want to make sure that everybody stays safe because these get really hot. Yeah. So you always want to. So that that's check another thing yourself. that I wanted to point out, and I don't know if I did in our tutorial, but I kind of made this overhang on yeah. the top and the bottom. So it's like so that. You know, if you push this thing up against the wall, it's not going to be that motor. Because these things get yes. really, really hot. And some people even made fans, almost like for computers, to yeah. run behind it, so that way it yep. keeps I it cool I thought about as doing well. that, but we really haven't run into an issue. No, we haven't. But that's why you know I try to always run my tumblers when I'm home. I, yeah. I try not to leave my my tumblers running mm -hmm. when I'm not home, hmm. and I don't. I try not don't to. Do it overnight. Yeah. I try not to do it overnight either. Sometimes it happens, and I'll get up at one in the morning and be like, I gotta go turn that <laughs> off. But, yeah, but know. that was the whole point of having this yeah. overhang on the top and the bottom so that these right. couldn't make contact with the wall and it would still have some airflow. Yeah. It's not a lot, but yeah, uh, it does the job. Yeah. So. All right.
now we you can hook it all back up the same way you took it apart yep exactly so the the shaft has that little hole which you're familiar with that and theirs might look a little bit different so yeah the, you know everybody probably connected theirs a little know, bit different it seems like there's a lot of manufacturers for these motors but yeah. they all are very very similar yeah in uh build so i think it's up oh, one of the kids found us <laughs> Okay, so all I got to do is just tighten up that screw. Yep. Which it's giving me some trouble here. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, yeah. So we're just tightening that up. We got our uh, adapter all on. And then we can just fit the motor right back where the previous one was. And that's it. So let me grab my little screws here. looks like that's tucked up under there yeah right yeah I'm yeah sorry. well it, no that's that's a good point you want to make sure the wires are away from don't the get pot. too busy you know trying to get done and then <laughs> you end up pinching a wire because then you're going to be in real trouble well yeah would, <laughs> would, the, would these wires melt or uh you know if it was pinched in there enough and it cut the sheathing then um yeah that would be that would be a big problem yeah so but this is pretty much how my back looks, and this has worked great for me. Yeah. I mean, over the years. I've had this for how many years now? She ain't pretty to look at, but... <laughs> she ain't pretty to look at, but she does her job. <laughs> <laughs> it works real good. All right, just as simple as that. So, <laughs> I'm laughing because I had to, like, lift this yeah. thing up. And, but, uh, it, you know, really, I mean, it took, what, 10 minutes? That's that, yeah. And this is crazy. So, this is one of the uh, the the good ones and you hear how loud it is that's not too bad that's no, that's kind of what good. they but listen to this this is the one that we just replaced not a sound and that's how it should be <laughs> <laughs> so it just goes to show like they wear out they do. over time yep, they and they do. start to get loud and then you know yeah. but they're cheap we yeah. buy them in bulk. Sandy showed you. How, do you the remember pack how much those get. were? I'm going to put it in the um, description. But I don't remember. I can't remember and, either. And it was a while ago. It was a while ago. You know, ago. a lot of stuff has gone up in price it because really of uh, yeah. all the supply chain constraints around the world. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you'll just have to look in the link. But I think it was like, maybe they were like four bucks a piece if you yeah. bought them in bulk. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah. So, there you go. Now you got. 10 again yay. yay i can get my stuff done <laughs> now along with obviously this um he made me all my plunger wands as well which they are so dirty and they need to be cleaned i have so many sitting here i'm like look how just years of use and, and everything they really need to be cleaned but that's pretty simple to clean but maybe next time i'll show you guys kind of how i just tidy them up a little bit all right well thank you for yeah. helping me yeah no problem he did <laughs> yeah. anytime <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, he did look up the prices for those. Yeah, so <laughs> I told you guys that we bought them a while ago. I just looked. We bought them uh, at the end of October last year. Yeah. Um, it was a pack of 10. They were 36 bucks then. I looked up now. They're 46 So, I mean, still not bad. I mean, that's $4.60 each when you break it down because there's 10 So I pretty much ran those things every day for hours on end. Yeah. And I... I probably only had to replace maybe four of those motors. Yeah. Um, you know, so that's pretty good, I think. But that's it's pretty you good. know, it's just a maintenance thing. Yeah, and like he said, you can actually tell when they're about to go out because they yeah. get louder. Yeah, so. they get really loud. Yeah, it almost sounds like there's Cause there's grime there's little there tiny gear, gears yeah. in there that move it around and they just get wore out from yeah. from running. I mean, they're not made. <laughs> really to do no. that it works <laughs> yeah it works but, you know only for so long yes <laughs> oh boy i know the kids are just randomly uh, screaming yeah. in the back <laughs> yeah we'll probably just cut that part out yeah <laughs> sure <laughs> all right well i know uh sandy kind of touched on that i've been having some uh medical issues it's been a little rough over the last month or so kind of in and out of doctors uh did end up at the ER one night, and so not not too fun. Still trying to figure out what's going on, but I I've been seeing your guys' comments. Really appreciate all the love. Yes. Um, 
it, 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 it doesn't go unnoticed and, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Yes. Thank you guys so very much. I, I, I told you guys and I wish I could have had him on sooner, but he just hasn't been feeling all that great. Yeah. So yeah. it's, it's like I go through phases of, yeah. uh, they put me on some medication. I was feeling better. They took me off the medication. I don't feel good yeah. at all. And so now I'm back on it. Uh, mm. It's still kind of <laughs> a little painful. <laughs> well, yeah, but um, uh, he is going to be seeing like two different specialists. So we're really hopeful that they will have more insight because yeah. what he has is kind of rare. It not, it not a lot of people get it. Yeah. So and they're like the doctors like doesn't really know what to do. So hopefully yeah. these specialists know. And. And you need to stop Googling stuff. I got to stop Googling <laughs> stuff because it's just, I'm Can't sorry. go to Dr. Google because they just tell you you're dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, but it's just scary. Yeah, know? well, potentially. I need, you, I need you around, the, me and the girls. Yeah, yeah. So. No, so, but yeah, I just wanted to let everybody know that I've seen your comments and, yes. and I really do appreciate it. Yes, very, so, very thank much. thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. I think that's going to do it for today. We better get back inside. I don't yeah. know what they're doing in there. I don't know. I've heard them <laughs> scream a few times. So Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Four kids can only be unattended for so long. Yes. <laughs> like two minutes tops, maybe. <laughs> so. Yeah. All right, guys. But we hope that you have a great rest of your night, a great rest of your week, and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye